Hey guys, Mustang Jackson here, back for another video. This is 2000, my 2010 Ford F-150. We're getting ready to put in a set of these Anzo tail lights. So I uh, picked these up off of Facebook Marketplace for 30 bucks. Looks online like they're around 400. So pretty sweet deal on that. Uh, lady said she got them in a pallet, so I'm sure there was a return on them. Something didn't work. So I rolled the dice. They got a little scratch on them, but really nothing much. So this job should be pretty quick and pretty simple. So let's jump into it. Give you a little before image here. Pretty standard tail light. It's chrome, at least Ford done that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna get you a 10 mil. And we're gonna take these bolts out right here. These only two. And then once those are out, we're just gonna grasp it firmly and pull it towards us. Cause there's just clips that holding it. That is it. So let me go ahead and get this off and I'll show you what it looks like disconnected. All right, guys, so with that out, like I said, you just got that one clip in the back that's holding it, as you can see right there. And then you have your three bulbs. These just twist and turn out. So we are using these same connections because these Anzo tail lights just plug into where the bulb goes, and then that housing turns back in. Same here, but it uses the bulb right here. So it would be a good time to replace the bulb if you have one blowing. But these here are LED. They're... Uh, basically capacitors or equalizers so you don't get any of that crazy blinking or anything along that nature so obviously this tail lights gonna fit in here and fill this cavity up so we're gonna have to put them guys back here so you can see they disconnect so i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect them and uh it looks like they're the same load on both sides so it really doesn't matter if you mix them up but what i'm gonna do is take the alcohol clean back in here on there real good I've got my rubbing alcohol and then I've got my heat gun because it's a little chilly. I'm going to warm the metal up and I'll stick those back in there. Also, at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and get a wipe and clean off these because they're out, they are really dirty. Take these out and I'll spray some electrical cleaner in there just to make sure all the contacts are good. And of course, I'll put dielectric grease on them. So I'm going to get those in there, show you what it looks like, and then we'll get it plugged in. All right, guys, just to show you where I'm at here, I actually ended up putting them to the inside here. That way it's gonna leave clearance for these. I took all this apart, took these sockets out and cleaned them just with some uh, regular cleaner cause they did have a little bit of sand and dirt in them. So now they're all greased up. I'll put the bulb back in this guy, plug these in, and then I'll show you uh, uh, what it looks like together. All right guys, so I was attempting to install these and I figured out why they were returned. So I've been cleaning here. You can see this crack. And the other one's the same way. It's got a, both of them are cracked on the other one. Let me show you right there. So these were returned because someone went and installed them and then they cranked too hard and broke these. So now what I'm going to do is I've got plastic welding rods and uh, reinforcement. So what I think I'm going to do is, is first I'm going to find out which one of these rods sticks the best to this. I've got a few different sets, but I'm gonna find out which one does the best. And then I'm gonna take some of my uh, metal mesh and I'm gonna heat it into this real good and rebuild it. And then I'll probably try my best to refill this and drill it again and see if I can't get the structure, structural back because uh, when I put that in there, it just kept turning. It wouldn't get tight. So this is gonna let this jiggle and we can't have that. All right, guys, so I got the uh, wire in, and then I used my, uh, I seen on it that it said it was PC and ABS, so I got my PC rod, got it all plastic welded in, and then just hit it with a little bit of paint, got my holes re-drilled. I didn't have to do this one, but there's this one. Kind of gave it a little bit more so the bolt could uh, dig into it as it goes. But now it is time to finally get these on the truck and see what they look like. It is going to be dark outside, so we'll get to see at night what they look like.
All right, guys, that's everything for this video. So the moral of this story is don't over tighten a uh, steel self-threading bolt into plastic. It never works out too good. So I would have to say, I mean, that was a user error, but uh, if I had to give more than 30 bucks for these and having to do all that fixing, I would have probably been a little bit perturbed. It's kind of my fault that I didn't look at it closer, but I'd have never dreamed that those were broke. But now I know, and now you know. So, hope you guys liked that. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, MustangJackson67. And until next time, let's keep building.